Hey, I'm Bob. Welcome to Golf League Tracker. In this video, we're going to talk about rainouts, how to manage them in Golf League Tracker, and the different options available. So I am in a league, my test league here. We're going to look at the schedule real quick. And you notice that we start on 417. Okay. Play each week. And we're going to assume that I've played one round of golf already. We've played 417. The scores are entered. Points are done. Everything's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to um, weekly admin. And let's say we were rained out the following week, 424. Okay, there's a couple different ways you can manage rain outs, and it's automated in Golf League Tracker. So back here, I'm in administration weekly admin, and I'm going to click on manage rain outs. So there's two basic ways you can do rain outs. You can either cancel the round or you can push that round to another date on your schedule. Uh, what most leagues do is they take the round and they just push it to the following week. So we play the same matchups this week. Uh, we'll play the same matchups next week that we were scheduled to play this week. And then they just extend the length of their, their league. The end date is one week later than it normally was scheduled. Um, so we're going to do the cancellation first. First thing we do is pick the rain out date. And you can't rain out a round that has scores entered. So if you do use the live scoring feature and you partially completed the round, for example, you have to go in and delete the scores under weekly admin, enter scores and points before you can mark the round as a rain out. So I'm going to rain out round number two. And let's say this time I'm going to cancel the round and we will not make it up. So simple, I just pick the rain out date and cancel round. I hit confirm, and then again it gives me one more confirmation and one more confirmation, and we're going to click yes. And now if we look at the schedule, and I will look at all dates, you'll see the round type for round two has been canceled. If I go to try and enter scores for that round, it's going to tell me, hey, the round is canceled up here. And again, it says um, the round's been canceled. Now, if you made a mistake and didn't mean to cancel the round, um, I can either click here, um, or if I'm not in that screen, I can go to Administration, League Setup, Scheduling. Now, you can either edit the schedule for a single round, or this is, is more my go-to. I click on Change Course Side or Round Type for All Rounds. Um, just so I can see the whole season up front. And you'll notice that round two is set as uh, canceled. So I'm going to change this back to a normal round because that's what it was before. And then scroll down and hit save. And now if we go back to schedule, things are back to where they were before I ran the rain out function. And I can go and enter scores or do whatever else I need to do for round number two. So now let's say... I have the rain out. We're back to where we started. Um, I want to move this to another date on the schedule. I'm just going to push everything out. I'm going to make the matchups that were on 424, push them to 5-1, and everything else gets pushed out a week. And instead of ending on August 14th, we're going to end on August 21st. So I'll go back to Admin Weekly Admin, Manage Rainouts, pick my rainout date, and this time I'm going to say move to another date. I'll hit confirm. And it gives me a, a little overview of what options I have here. So my, my new date is going to be the following week. So it's already preset to 5-1. Um, and we're going to push the end date out. The other option, which I'll show you in a minute, is that we can play multiple rounds on the same date, uh, if so desired. Most leagues don't do this um, because they have set schedules and the time that they play uh, each round, but that is an option. So I'm just gonna say push end date out and click move round. So we're moving 424 to 51 and 424 just won't show in the schedule. We'll click yes. And let's go back up to the schedule and we'll pick all dates. And so you'll notice 424 is no longer in the schedule. The matches that we had on 424, because it's still round number two, 
Uh, round number two was just pushed to 5-1, and everything else got pushed down, and we end on August 21st. Now, let's say you made a mistake and didn't mean to do that. We're going to go to Administration, League Setup, League Date, and what you'll see is that the system automatically added a date to skip for the rainout date on 424. And if I want things back to where they were, because all I did was push the rounds out in the same order, um, all I would have to do is delete this skip date. So I'm going to say remove. Yes. Dates are updated. Round two is back on 424 and everything else is back to where it started. I'm going to go back, show you another way to do this. We can say manage rainouts. Actually, let's look at the schedule first. <clears throat> let's say we wanted to play two rounds on 5-1. We're going to have uh, round two and round three on 5-1. Okay. So this will keep the number of rounds that we're playing the same. We're going to end on the same date, but we're playing two rounds in one week. So I will go to Manage Rainouts. Again, I'll pick round number two. We're going to move to another date. Confirm it. And we're going to move it to 5-1, but this time we're going to say play multiple rounds on the same date. And click Move. Okay, and it will tell you what's going on here. Confirm, yes. Again, we'll go back to schedule. And now you're going to notice here we have two rounds on 5-1. And again, two rounds on 5-1, and we still end on August 14th. Now, because you can't play both rounds at the same time, you're generally going to have different tee times for one round or the other. What you'd probably want to do is change the tee times for one or the other rounds to the appropriate time. So if we were going to start round number two at, say, 1 o'clock instead of 4 o'clock, I could go up here to Admin, League Setup, Tee Times, And I could come over here and set custom tee times for round number two. So instead of our default tee times start at four, I'm going to choose round number two over here and then hit change. And now I can set these. Let's say we're starting at one with 10 minute increments and then hit save. And you'll notice there's a custom tee time now set for round number two. And if we go to schedule, Round number two, it's going to show our tee time at one o'clock. And if I look at round number three or any of the other rounds, they're back to four o'clock. It doesn't affect anything except that it's informational for your players so they know what time you're starting. Then finally, if you need to make an adjustment to which side you're playing, you're going to go up to administration, league setup, scheduling, change course side or round type for all rounds and make your adjustment here. Um, Golf League Tracker doesn't change the side for you automatically. Different leagues handle it differently as far as whether their side should change or not when rainouts happen. Um, so you will need to do that yourself. And then everything else works the same. We can go and enter the scores for these rounds. You know, you'd start at round two and then you'd go to round three, just like you normally would. All right, I hope that helps on how to manage rainouts. If you have any questions, feel free to contact support, and we'll see you soon.